Hi guys, um, this is a video about Arco install ISO. Something went wrong in my selection and I end up with a black screen, which is still large, right? <laughs> so new fetch, not installed, sudo pacman minus syoyu. Let's see what we can do with a system like this. So I already set to install bash completion, then exit back in. So I can actually do this, tap, tap. And then we know we have 244 packages, which is nothing, right? 244 packages. I have a Linux kernel in column number three, libraries there, system D is there, and a space and, right? Not much to find. There is nothing, anything related with Arconix, Arch Linux gearing, yes, sure. So basically this is the not even X org, right? It's all not present. So it's a very, very minimal <laughs> Arch Linux installation. And that's what the, the point of my videos, the last 4,400 videos is telling. Arch is like Lego blocks. So I really have just the red base plate for Lego. And now we're gonna put things on it. One of the things we'd like to have is SDM. There we go. Installing is one thing, 54 things. Dependencies. Enabling is the thing you shouldn't forget. Sudo system CTL enable please as a DM. Done. So now you boot up to something graphical, but behind as a DM, there is nothing, really nothing. So sudo pacman minus s well, yeah why not let's take plasma three hundred eighty two packages to get plasma there is xfc4 xfc4 goodies mate mate extras gnome gnome extras i mean it's just a choice of the moment you choose something different and hopefully and that depends on the guys of Arch. Xorg will be there as a dependency. Have not seen it yet. 382 packages. And we like you to work in, in the terminal and, and read the names and follow the names and follow the updates and update your system and maintain your system via a terminal. So you get to know these packages and the ones that are really essential. After updating you reboot. There is xorg. There they are. xorg xset root x message xdpi info xrdp so i think they're in there and that's the fun with ours right you can start with something really really empty really basic and spend then the time to probably create a script so next time around you just run your script you make your decisions i want to have that lego block for instance firefox i'd like to have melt i'd like to have code I'd like to have google chrome right whatever choices choices always let's see if we can see something graphical already So you can install, you can use the Arch Linux ISO, you can use the Arco install ISO to just have nothing as possible too. And just have these, what was it, 244 packages? And then start typing, right? Start adding a display manager or a login manager. What's behind it? PSPWM, Mate, Xmongonad. It's your choice. And there you go. So we have here now the possibility 
let's see if we have so control T and all that, right? Nothing really. Is there anything available? Is there a terminal available? I don't see one. Um, Gonzole is the name, I think, here. So get Gonzole, it says here. Well, control F3, and we're back in TTY. Pseudo Pacman minus S Gonzole is one thing I'd like to have. A terminal, please. Thank you very much. Is Dolphin there? Guess not. Pseudo Pacman minus S Dolphin. Dolphin. Nope, wasn't there. So now I have a file manager. I have a terminal. I go back. Control F2. Click again. Gonzole is there. Pseudo Pacman minus S Y Y U. Two lines, that's it, right? It's pure arch, multi-lip if you need it. That's wine and the 32 libraries and steam, but only if you need it, only if you need it. Making this bigger is not that difficult. Display manager and this one apply. And have fun, some more, some more fun in the virtual box here getting themes, getting uh, all kinds of things, because it is really super interesting, the global theme here. You can actually click and go on, get new stuff, and there is lots of stuff. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So if you want to have it be looking like an Apple machine, you can do so, right? Lots of choices. Enfin, voila, seven minutes to start from nothing, black thing, 240-ish packages, and then you keep on adding things. And we are missing a lot of things, eh? applications and all that. So this is the basic plasma, maybe a quick look. That's what we get. This is the dependency, we did not install it. It's some dependency that uh, is now currently created by the Archlinks guys. And that's the welcome center. All right, enjoy.